Oh, loading again. Really? I went I went too far too fast. Bring me back my screen, please. Please. Good evening, Mr. There Allen. we go. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Have you heard rumors of underhand dealings in the hospital? If you want to know what's going on here, you better talk to Miss Jones. She knows everything. Especially what she shouldn't. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Mistress of the night, where did you go? Was that lootable? <sighs> the pain. Where'd she go? Miss. Ooh, I'll take that, thank you. Good evening, Miss Howcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. Blackmail? Have you heard of any blackmailing going on within these walls? <laughs> I have no time for mortal games. My secrets are beyond their comprehension, Doctor Reed. Okay. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. All right, let's see. Is Dorothea down here? Let me ask you. Dr. Reed, may I help you? Blackmail. Oh, she gets different. Have you heard rumors about blackmail within the hospital? I don't have time to listen to all the idle gossip that floats in these halls, Doctor. Shady staff members? Do you know if any of the hospital staff have had run-ins with the law? Doctor, you've hardly been here and you're already questioning the moral fortitude of the staff. Uh, okay, she didn't like that. Sorry. You've worked here for how long? For how long have you been working here, Nurse Crane? I first volunteered at the Pembroke in 1911, a few months after Dr. Swansea was appointed. And before you arrived here? If you must know, this was my first job. Hmm. Are you in charge? Well, Dr. Swansea certainly has confidence in your abilities. Are you in charge of the nursing staff? Not in an official capacity, but the Pembroke doesn't always work above board, so to speak. Hmm. What about medical protocols? What about medical protocols? Dr. Reed, we don't have the money and resources here at the Pembroke like they do in the West End. We do what we can. How is work organized? How is the duty roster organized? Everybody works until they can't. If there's time, they'll eat a meal and shed a silent tear. Wow. Any chance I can get you to wash your hands? <laughs> um, about the epidemic. What can you tell me about the epidemic, Nurse Crane? I've been out of touch since I've come back to England. Everyday folk don't know how bad it is. The papers certainly won't tell them. Not as long as the war is raging on, anyway. News on the front stated that the Spanish flu was under control, at least in Britain. It seemed to be for a while. But that was only last summer. It returned with a vengeance just over a month ago. About the patients? What can you tell me about our patients here at Pembroke? This hospital was founded to help the East End poor and needy. But since the war and the quarantine, we've had all manner of folk. Can you be more specific? Well, veterans, the elderly, dock workers. We even have a few mental patients. If there's space, we take them. I'm still a little confused about, um, like, I think Brianna said that everyone was volunteers, but then there's also talk of you can get fired, and so I'm not sure. I'll see you later, Nurse Crane. I'm not sure if this is, this has got to be paid staff, so you would think. I don't know. And still more coming. How can we be sure we're making a difference? Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? Questions. Have you heard any talk of blackmail going on in the hospital? 
If you're running some official inquiry, you had better question the patients. They know more than the staff, especially really? old Miss Jones. <laughs> okay. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. Um, I don't think I will ask uh, Mortimer or his mother about blackmail. I probably don't want to put that on the radar. Or maybe I do. Let's, let's see what she has to say. Um, okay, sorry. Good evening, Doctor. How is my son doing? He's alive. So there's that. Have you heard rumors of blackmail going on in this hospital? Dr. Reed, are you trying to take advantage of me? No. Of course not, Mrs. Goswick. I'm just curious. Well, go be curious somewhere else, please. Oh my goodness. I'm Goodbye, sorry. Mrs. Goswick. Sorry. Uh, Mortimer. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. Have you heard rumors about blackmail in this hospital? No. Okay, I wouldn't expect you to. Um, not that. You tried to kill yourself. Admit it, Mortimer. Your mother had you hospitalized here because you tried to kill yourself. Yes, it's true. All right, then. This is the first time we've really shared information about your case. Shall we call this progress? Call it what you want, Dr. Reed. Well, you can trust me. You can trust me. I won't report you to the authorities. My one and only concern is your health. I guess I should thank you then. Yeah, uh, taking your life is a crime back in uh, 1918. Trying to take your life, I should say. Can I help you in any way, Mr. Goswick? I wrote a letter for my mother. She was supposed to read it after... After my death. But... I suppose she doesn't have to read it now. I see. And is this letter still near the place where you tried to take your own life? Yes. And I don't want anyone reading my last words. I mean, I'm still here. If you bring me back that letter, then... Perhaps we'll talk. Okay. Oh, I got a key. Alright. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Alright. Don't waste your time with me. Let's talk to you. Good evening, Doctor. How is my son doing? I don't know. You're, uh... Your son wished to die, Beatrice. Why did you hide such crucial information? Are you not aware suicide is a crime? Mortimer could be thrown in jail. I can't let that happen. I won't. I understand you fear the legal consequences, Mrs. Goswick. But don't you realize your silence significantly affects your son's case? All my son needs is help and comprehension. Not judgment and punishment for what he may or may not have done. Yeah, and that's, that's, the prison is the last place he needs to be. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. I'm alright. Don't waste your time with me. Hiding it doesn't help, but he certainly doesn't need thrown in jail you for it. You always knew the words to calm the children, Ella. Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Any news about my operation? Have you heard talk of any blackmail here at the hospital? No, nothing. Okay. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. You always knew the words to calm the children, Ellen. All right, let's see. Where's Dr. Ackroyd? Looks like you have beds. That's Strickland. Where's Ackroyd? This hospital seems to be falling apart. It's not falling apart. Ooh. Want that? Let me go ask you a question. I didn't treat Mortimer. <laughs> Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure to see you again. Question. Have you heard of someone blackmailing people in the hospital? Pardon me, sir, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Chidana. I may or may not leave all this in. Some of it's fairly interesting. I'm sorry, Harvey. I'm sorry. 
I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. I have to ask you about blackmail. Have you heard about any blackmail going on in this hospital? Blackmail? Nonsense. Okay. All right. Never mind. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. Mortimer. I forgot to help you. Good I'm e sorry. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. Let's make you feel better. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. You're not a burden. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. There you go. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. I'm all right. Don't waste your time with me. You're not wasted time. Nor are you wasted resources. You outside, Dr. Reed. I know that Pembroke will prevail Strickland. and survive. Strickland. 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 The only way that Harvey Fittick gets his operation is if you eat one of the doctors. You you settle their argument by killing one of them, and then there's no more argument, and then he gets his operation. <laughs> Otherwise, he will spend the entire game not getting any better. And if I was in his shoes, I would be pretty upset about that and pestering the staff as well. All right, I think we got all the, we talked to Pippa. Is there anybody we didn't talk to? I don't think so, except for um, Sean. So let's talk to him. Hello again, Dr. Reed. I feel better already. Can I go soon? If you, I can't ask you about blackmail. Well, if you feel better, then yeah. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. Harriet. I did want to check. Is Tippett's out here? Ah. Uh. But the suffering continues. Daily routine. All right, let's talk to you. After I have... Yeah, I want that. What's this? Royal Garden Hall Theater. All right. You have a very cozy room. How long have you been here? What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. <laughs> Where's Dr. Swansea? I'm not an intern. Please, calm down, madam. I assure you that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. <laughs> how brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit a poor sod's vein. <laughs> you like gossip. If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I'd be inclined to say you enjoy this type of idle gossip. God's honest truth, Doctor. It's just the way it is here. Most of these bitches would let you freeze to death before getting you a blanket. I don't think she's the blackmailer, but let's ask the question. You seem to know more about the goings-on here than anyone else. Beware, Miss Jones, in case suspicion should fall on you. That's it. Blame the old and infirm. I see those little bitches, greedy little eyes. Just waiting for me to pop off, they are. Hmm. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? 
Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigans, whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Oh well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. Has she? See you on the next round. What did she give us? Miss Jones, greetings. How do we feel? Oh, again? Waking a poor old woman in her sleep? There isn't a poor life needs saving somewhere? You weren't sleeping. I have questions for you. Now, I need to ask you a few simple questions. Well, if you really must. You notice anything suspicious? Have you noticed any suspicious comings or goings? It would be a great deal easier to make a list of things unsuspicious in this house of charlatans. Surely it's not that bad. Come now, Miss Jones. Surely it's not that bad. <laughs> Have you no eyes? This hospital accepts all manner of souls, regardless of origin. The proper sick cannot heal. We're kept sickened by the refugees. Oh. Oh. Everyone here is very capable. I have not seen any instances of unprofessionalism. Thieves and murderers the lot. People have gone missing here, you know. Poof, without a trace. Really? Why were you admitted? If you could just tell me why you were admitted. It's terrible, Doctor. What with a pain in my chest, coughing up blood, and I get awfully tired. Wouldn't be so bad if I hadn't lost my house and all. I see. No one comes to visit, you know. Not even my own flesh and blood. I'll come and visit you shortly. Good night, Miss Jones. I'm sure she has a very lonely stay and has to amuse herself somehow. Miss Jones. I, I'm just making no. sure I asked you no. everything. Yeah, I did. I'll come. All right. All right. What are these? So we're just throwing medicine bottles on the floor? Is that what's happening? The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. Oh, I already asked everybody. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Strange man visiting nurses. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with our old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. Uh, yeah, I did. Some of what she says could be true. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Damn. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? I mean... I... yeah. No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't... I don't begrudge you. <laughs> Your feelings on the matter. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Dorothy, Dorothea, or Dorothea. I think it's Dorothea. Everybody calls her Dorothy. Where is she? Will this shift never end? No, it won't. Where are you? Me? Normally not hard to find. Elwood, Hippa, Harriet Jones. She must be. She must be outside. That's Tippets. Tippets. And that's Brannigan, right? Where's Dorothy? Oh, I know where she is. Press 
press L3 to activate senses. Yep, yep, we've done this. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I ought to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. Or doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. Oh. Did we just get through that door? Are we stuck here now? Did you just stick me here, game? Ah, look at the hat. Can I get back through it? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, all right, there are two people here before we go that way. Well, no, maybe they're not here. I thought I saw them earlier. Maybe they show up later. All right, I guess we're going this way. Should I sleep? I don't, mm, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna get my butt kicked if I don't. I healed you. I healed you, but you, uh... Yeah. Okay. Alright. Mm. I, I think we should sleep before we go in there. Oh, there you are. Excuse me, sir. Please, sir. I need help bad. What's going on? I'm Blight, sir. Newton Blight. I've lost my mate. Can't find him anywhere. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. Please calm down and give me more details. Oswald and myself were both infantry, sir. We were en route for the hospital, but... Well, we had a disagreement. And Oswald ran off towards the canal. How long have you been searching for him? I, ca I can't go there. Too many rats by the water. Fucking rats. Can't stand them since the war, sir. Can't stand them at all. Don't be ashamed, Mr. Blight. Many soldiers who survived the trenches suffer from musophobia. I'll see what I can do for your friend. Can I ask you questions? This is a dangerous part of town. What are you doing here? We were looking for the Pembroke Hospital. He... We both need help. T treatment, I mean. To get some sleep. Just need to feel better, sir. And how are you doing? Let's see, you're fine. What can you tell me about yourself? I'm Oswald's best friend. We served in the same regiment, sir. We've taken care of each other since we came back from the front. And your friend? What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Oswald Thatcher. We survived the war together. Oswald is... nervous and quite fragile since we came back from the war. Where was your friend the last time you saw him? He went down by the canal. He didn't want to go to the hospital. I think he went to the sewers on purpose. So I couldn't go after him. Okay. I have all the information I need for now. If I find anything out about your friend, I'll let you know as soon as I can. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Well, good thing I talked to him before I went down there. Yeah, so this is locked off now. We open that. Doesn't look like anything else filled up. Okay, let's go sleep. Should I try to follow tippets? Because that's what I'd really like to do. Milton. Ashbury. If Tippett has left, I'm proud. A lot of my own life. Tippett. Are you in the room? No, where the hell are you? 
Ooh, I want that. Where are you? Unknown. Oh, that's the patient. There's Tibbets. Are you gonna go inside? No, you're gonna sit here and have a conversation. The Pembroke is so lucky to have Dr. Reed, you know. I met him in New York tonight. If only there were more of us, with less resignation and more determination. I know I can count on you. I wish I could say the same for the others. You look exhausted. You're pushing yourself too hard. You don't have to bear the burdens of this hospital alone. Hmm. Where do you two go? <laughs> they don't actually have... Yeah, where do the two of you go? They don't actually have a, um, a follow function, a spy on them function. You just go over here and hang out? It's only a matter of time before the Pembroke closes its doors for good. Can you remind me why we still work here? Dr. Reed will help straighten things out in Pembroke. Remember? I, for one, am still waiting to see it. Well, that's reassuring. Believe me, it gives me courage. Really? Aw. Oh. That's not something she would ever say to your face. Are you gonna go inside, Tippets? Are you gonna go inside? Don't stop at that tent. Just go inside. Keep going. All right. Make a run for it. Stop following me. Come on, Tippets. Don't let me down. Tippets. Ooh, there's a shiny box in there. Oh, Tibbets. This is this is what I meant when I said I've waited for him for hours before <laughs> we've played this game so many times. Tibbets, please come up the stairs. Please come up the stairs. There's a shiny cabinet in there too. Gosh darn it. Swansea's in his office. I don't think he's gonna show up. Damn it! Come on. Ugh. Ooh. Tippets. Ooh, boxes. All right, that was worthwhile. Where are you? Yeah, did you go up and then come back down? I don't understand you. I'm getting, I'm grabbing the shiny stuff that I saw. Tippets. Come back this way. Please? I want the experience. Mm. I'm just gonna have to catch you later. What? Oh. Okay. Yeah, 
Uh, he's gonna... Uh, just, we'll get him later. Tippis is problematic. We'll get him later. Alright. Oh, I wanted to buy... I wanted to see the price of a gun from Milton. Let's do that while I'm thinking about it, because I'll forget if I get... I met him in New York once. If only there were more of us. Good evening, Milt. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives? Mm-hmm. Uh, your shop. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. So, this... 315. Ugh. That's expensive. What kind of bullets does it take? Shotgun? So can I sell you... Mm, can I sell you these? These. What is that? They're only a... They're only worth one coin each. Small bag of junk. I wish I could sell him, like, my weapons I don't need. There's Clay's hatchet. That'll get me 20. Eh. Well, I just gotta save up and wait. Here, let me sell you the bullets that I don't want. Good evening, Milton. Good. I'd like wise choice, Doc. Is that really all I have? Alright, you went that way. Tippets. Are you guys mixing medicine here? Should you just have this sitting out here in the open? I guess you kind of need some basis. For treating people outside. If only I were young again. Just a dozen Another years Another night with the so. glorious battalion of Pembroke. Can you go upstairs for me? Can you go upstairs for me? You're gonna go to the tent, aren't you? You're gonna go to the tent. Damn it! No, you're gonna go inside? Side. Don't stop walking. I'm gonna follow you this time. Is that a letter? About the use of garlic and wooden steaks. Right, well, we'll read that later. Through the doors. I'm gonna watch you go through them. Go through the doors. Yes! Which way is Rakesh? Uh. Is this it? Is this the direct way? Yes! Where do I stand? Damn it! Why is this so difficult every time? That is better. That is better. I will make it through one more night. Tippets. Tippets. I 
covered for you, Tippets. I covered for you. You, sir. <laughs> Come to the stairs. Okay, fine. Good evening, Dr. Tippett. Dr. Reed, any good news to share? No, no, no good news to share. You're taking drugs. I know you're taking drugs, Corcoran. Why take such a risk? I need it to endure the long shifts. We have no idea how long the epidemic will last. We can't let it win. It's irresponsible. For God's sake, what are you thinking? How can you be so irresponsible? Irresponsible? I am devoted to my work. I am doing this for all the patients who need our help. I cannot abandon them. You're not abandoning them. Ugh. Frick. Tippets. Tippets. Goodbye, Dr. Tippets. You, you, you're, you're still on thin ice. Ah. Uh. Where are we going? Okay, I'm going back upstairs. Now we will go evolve, as the game says. Look at, look at his face. I. He drank one person, and this is his face. And I really, I personally don't care for it. There's a mod, if you play on PC, where um, no matter how much blood you drink, his face will look normal, because none of the other vampires that we encounter, like, they all have normal faces. So it doesn't even make sense within the game for him to look like this. And it's like, it just bugs me, because it's super obvious there's something wrong with him. Anyway. This train your so we go we go up in healing, which could be good. This goes up in how much blood is used? Cost is yeah. No, cost is less. Okay. That's two thousand. And then this is nope, sorry. This is 1,300, so that would pretty much knock out everything. That would be the only upgrades that we do. We do have tactical. Perform a supernatural move to your target and cause damage upon landing. Drain your stamina to fade into the shadows and become invincible to most enemies. Now, I don't want to... You'll exit the shadows if you attack or... I don't want to do that. That doesn't seem... You'll block your target's blood in their veins, making them defenseless. That's nice. You create an invisible barrier absorbing direct damage until it fades or is destroyed. That's also nice. Hmm. So this is kind of like you can... basically freeze up one person which I was using it to freeze one person and then attack another person while they're frozen up. This will block stuff. It'll block attacks. What's your, how, when your barrier disappears, it explodes. That's nice. You create an invisible barrier, absorb, absorbing direct damage until it fades or is destroyed. I'd rather do that personally. Collaboration. Your target's blood will now burst out of their body, flowing towards your mouth to feed you without touching your prey. Holy crap. You control your target's blood is now stronger, and the time you control it is increased. This is awesome. <laughs> um, this is a move, though. So it's going to cost... Concentrate your blood in your feet to increase your impact upon landing and deal damage around you. So it looks like this just does more damage. Whereas this does the same amount of damage, but you concentrate your blood in your hands and feet to increase the impact on your target. 
If your target is already stunned, you embrace them automatically. I don't like that as much. This is cool. Because this is only so useful as your bite. And your blood absorption is useful. At least that's what I'm that's what I'm gathering. Um This is kinda like dodge, but better is what I'm getting with spring. Oh, do I want collaboration or blood barrier? Two seconds control, hits absorbed. This would be good because some might be invincible to this. So this might be better. I kind of want both of them, even though I said don't get both. <laughs> Ultimates can't be unlocked. Okay, let's see. I think... This will only absorb one hit, but that could still be really useful if I catch it in time. Although if I see a hit coming enough to avoid it, I could dodge out of the way, unless it's a bullet. This will, like I said, freezes somebody. So there's that. And if I upgrade it, that'll take, I could upgrade this and Blood Spear? No, Blood Spear is the 2000. So I could upgrade Autophagy and Blood Collaboration. Do I want this? Try it, see how it goes. This is really cheap. And then we have enough to upgrade, drain your own blood. and I'm pretty sure that's not enough to do anything. So let's confirm. 